In this film, we shall see the full range of painting operations on a 406 saloon finished in pearlescent Vulcan red following replacement of the left hand rear wing. A body shop uses various welding processes. With the lead loading technique, high quality sheet metal finishing is possible after bodywork parts have been welded in place. The surfaces are then dressed. We shall use modern techniques such as infrared drying of the undercoat, dry rubbing down, and the application of a water-thinned paint in accordance with the legislation governing the discharge of solvents. Vinyl gloves must be worn, both for safety reasons and to avoid transferring any moisture to the surface, since water-thinned and water-soluble paints are particularly sensitive to them. If a good quality finish is to be obtained, surfaces must be carefully prepared before painting. When the vehicle first comes in, make sure that the areas worked on in the body shop are flat and that the repaired section is in good condition. Areas already primed are left as they are. Next, feather the cut areas Then rub down the wing to remove any visible defect. The inside surfaces are given an anti-corrosion treatment and painted in the original color. It is imperative that any areas of the zinc coating damaged by welding or cutting should be reconstituted by electroplating so as to restore it to its original condition when it left the production line. Clean and blow off with an air jet. Next, apply masking tape. For quick jobs in the body shop, a vehicle-specific cover will protect the entire vehicle. Protect the cover by taping around the area to be painted.
If craft paper is used, the glossy side should face outwards. Remove any aerosol sprays from the vehicle. The vehicle is then ready to enter the painting booth. In the case of a diesel-powered vehicle, the booth ventilation system should be started, since the combustion products may prevent the paint from taking. Move the vehicle into the booth. Disconnect the battery and earth the vehicle. Ensure that the booth is at a slight vacuum and check that the extraction filters are in good condition. The operation then takes place in two stages. First, the surfaces are prepared by applying a primer and several undercoats. Then, after rubbing down, the top coats of paint and varnish are applied by spraying. It is essential to apply a primer, which provides additional protection by passivating the metal. And improves adhesion of the subsequent coats of paint. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations as regards diluting and spraying the primer. All bare metal areas that have been replated with zinc are given a coat of phosphate primer. For a better surface appearance, it is best to use a two-component undercoat, which gives better coverage and can also be rubbed down. A hardener is added to the main undercoat, to encourage polymerization. The degree of thinning will vary according to the coverage required. Begin by spraying the areas around the edges. Then, paint the remainder of the surface. Apply a second coat on the lead loading. Observe the recommended evaporation times between coats. Depending on the extent of the work done in the body shop, 
continue to apply further coats until a good surface appearance is obtained. This painting method where you start with the biggest area and then go on to the smaller areas is known as the pyramid spray technique. Disconnect the battery and earth the vehicle. The mist is then easy to remove when you rub down. Move the vehicle out of the booth. Position the infrared drying unit facing the painted area. This system is quicker than drying in the booth. Follow the supplier's recommendations as regards the distance between the unit and the surface and the intensity and duration of the drying periods. Use the drying time to prepare the paint. Note the manufacturer's paint code marked on the front wheel arch. The first two characters indicate the type of finish. On this model, M4 means pearlescent. The last two characters indicate the name of the color, KZ Vulcan Red. You can also use standard shade cards to confirm that the color is correct or to find the nearest shade. From the manufacturer's database, or microfiche, determine the composition formula from the basic colors. These colors are placed in a mixing system, which should be run twice a day to ensure complete homogeneity. Estimate the amount of paint to be prepared, then weigh out the different components adhering as closely as possible to the values given. With water-soluble or water-thinned paints, it is imperative to use only plastic containers or metal containers painted on the inside. To confirm that the color is correct, a test panel must be prepared. Dilute the color in the recommended proportions. If recommended by the supplier, check the viscosity by measuring its flow time through the viscosity meter. Filter the mixture using a filter appropriate to the product. For non-pearlescent paints, use the microfilter. When preparing the test panel, spray using precisely the same conditions as will be used for the vehicle. Same air pressure. Same application process. Same number of coats of paint. 
and varnish. Finally, stove the surface. Only a dry test panel will show the precise shade obtained from the mixture. After cooling, apply a rubbing down discloser. A thin film of black paint can also be used. Using an orbital sander fitted with a vacuum system, a flexible base plate and a grade 400 abrasive disc, begin by dressing the filled and cut surfaces. Then rub down the whole area using grade 500 abrasive. A flexible intermediate disc can be used for rubbing down any sharply curved areas or projecting corners. Areas that are difficult to reach with the orbital sander should be rubbed down with an abrasive pad. Caution. When rubbing down dry, the grade of abrasives to be used is about half that used for the wet process, for the same finish. Thus, a grade 500 abrasive used dry is equivalent to a grade 1000 abrasive for rubbing down wet. The rubbing down discloser makes it easier to follow your progress and will reveal any surface defects such as hollows, bumps or fine scratches. It is important to remove any remaining dust using an air blast and then to degrease the surface. Remove the masking tape. After removing the masking tape, fit the coverage telltales and put the vehicle in the booth. Taking care not to introduce dust into the booth, degrease the component, small areas at a time, using an appropriate product and immediately wipe off. Carefully observe the recommended relative humidity in the booth for satisfactory painting. Calibrate the low pressure HVLP spray gun by fitting the test unit and two pressure gauges to the jet. One pressure gauge measures the main inlet air pressure. The second gauge measures the air pressure at the side holes, which determines the shape of the jet.
The air pressure at the side holes serves to pinch the jet to obtain the required shape. Adjust the air inlet to obtain the recommended pressure at the holes. Then note the pressure at the gun inlet. Fit the air cap appropriate to the jet used. Adjust the air pressure so as to obtain the calibration pressure at the gun. Then adjust the paint flow. Wipe the surface with the cleaning pad. Begin by spraying the areas around the edges. Continue over the rest of the wing surface. Keep the spray gun at a constant distance from the surface and perpendicular to it. A steady movement of the gun will ensure that the coat applied is uniform. The application of the colour will be made using the process recommended by the supplier. Verify the covering power from the telltale. To reduce drying time between coats, use a drying accelerator of the Hydromate type. After drying, apply two coats of varnish. Observe the pre-drying time, then stove the surface. When the surface has cooled down, remove the masking tape. Inject wax into hollow parts so as to protect areas worked on in the body shop to which access is difficult. Finally, check that the overall appearance of the repair is satisfactory and refit all parts to the vehicle. فراموش نکنید که توی کانال سابسکرایب کنید زنگوله رو به صدا در بیارید و کانال رو با دیگر دوستانتون به اشتراک بذارید تا ویدیوی بعدی روز روزگار خوش